If you type the phrase butter braised into a search engine, you're gonna find a lot of recipes. Everything from steaks to fingerling potatoes, to even cabbage. But when it comes to spring vegetables, butter braising might not be such a good idea. What say you, Dan? Well, I say butter and spring vegetables is a great combination. Sure. Braising, not so much. Kind of a nightmare for spring vegetables. So most of them are really delicate. They have beautiful fresh flavor, and we want to preserve that. Right, because it's our first taste of fresh vegetables, right? <laughs> In months and months and months, <laughs> and we really need them to be nice and crisp perfectly cooked, and so we're gonna use a technique that's more steaming, but we're gonna get that butteriness in there at the end. Perfect. So we're gonna work with turnips, we've got asparagus, we've got snap peas and radishes. Okay. So these are just amazing flavors from mm -hmm. spring, and I'm gonna start with the turnip here. So the best bet here is to peel it, and peel it pretty thoroughly. There's often a little bit of a layer below the surface that is still a bit tough when you cook it. And this is a nice small turnip. If you're getting into those larger turnips, they're probably have been there since the previous fall, right? Right. <laughs> We want to look for nice, fresh spring turnips. They're going to provide some nice meaty texture, also a little bit of bitterness, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to cut this into one half by one half inch batons that are about two inches long. Okay. I like to always cut off a little bit at the beginning just to give yourself a flat surface to right. work from. And then I like to cut the biggest planks possible. So standing it up this way, I'll have really nice big pieces mm -hmm. to work from. Mm -hmm. So I've already done a half inch, right? Now I'm going to go a half inch this way. I'm glad to see that you're not wasting the ends. A lot of people will square off. You can do this as rustic or as fancy as you want. You can leave them right on there. And if you you know, start going and you can do a little faster, you can always stack too, speed things up a little bit. Imperative to use a very, very sharp knife for this though. Totally, and I think it just makes it more fun. Yes. Anytime you're prepping vegetables, if you have a nice sharp knife, it becomes enjoyable as opposed to a chore. True. Okay, so we've got a pound total of turnips. All right. Next up, we have our beautiful asparagus. So a nice way to make sure that you don't have a woody fibrous end there is I like to just take off a little bit and you can really see the fibrousness in asparagus. So if okay. you look in here and it looks moist and fresh, mm -hmm. that's a good sign that it's not gonna be woody. Okay. And that can often be a really good guide for the rest of them. So if you do the snapping method, you can end up snapping in a lot of different places and right. you can waste some asparagus. So line them up nicely like that. And then again, you can just look and see. Sure. These look great. So we're gonna cut these into two inch lengths. You could just cut them straight if you wanted to, but it's nice to give a little bias cut on there. It makes them a little bit prettier. Mm -hmm. So to do that, I stagger that way, and then you just cut down this way. So that is a pound total of asparagus. So we're gonna start cooking. There's a little bit more prep to do. Okay. I'm gonna cheat and start cooking and then do it while the other stuff's going. Alrighty. So over here I've got a large saucepan and I've got a cup of water in there. So I'm gonna bring that up to a boil over high heat. I've also got a steamer basket here. So I'm gonna lower this guy inside. So I've got my large saucepan, a cup of boiling water, and my steamer basket. So I'm gonna put in my turnips and the asparagus. So we're gonna do some staggered cooking here. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna turn it down to medium. We're gonna cook those for two minutes. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna work on my next vegetable. These are really easy. So these are sugar snap peas. So good. So good. They really are the pea that you wanna look for most of the spring. English mm -hmm. peas are wonderful. They're good for about like 24 hours right. of the season, right? Right. And then they get starchy and kind of bitter. These are super easy to prep. Go onto the little stem end mm -hmm. there. You wanna grab it and then peel it. And a lot of times there will be no string on That's there. That's right. But sometimes there will be a string. So it's the kind of thing where you have to do it every time. Big string. That's eight ounces total. So that is two minutes. And these guys are not fully cooked. They've started to tenderize. They look beautiful and green. Great color. We're gonna go in with our sugar snap peas. Right on top there. We're gonna go two minutes longer. A little batch cooking here. You start at different levels so that each thing is going to be cooked perfectly. Exactly, and we really tried this a lot of different ways. We tried you know, stacking them and steaming them all at once, hoping that the hardier ones on the bottom, like the turnips, would cook more. It didn't really work out that way. So staggered worked out to be the best. All right. And the steaming is really nice because you don't lose a ton of flavor. Right. Our last vegetable is radishes, and these barely need to heat through. We're only gonna cook them for a minute. They add a ton of beautiful color, a lot of nice texture. What we wanna do is basically have them like that and then slice them thin. And for something like this that's small, I actually like to drag my knife through mm -hmm. them. If you have a nice sharp knife, it's really easy. You have a lot of control that way. That's four radishes. Okay, so that's two more minutes. Mm. I love it, everything's green and Stunning. beautiful every time you take it off. We're gonna add our four large radishes Jeez. that we slice thin. Nice full pot, and then cover. We're gonna go for one more minute. Okay. That'll be perfect for the radish and everything else will finish through. I love it. All right, minute is up. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Those radishes, they get a little bit lighter color. Just softened. Yeah, just softened, I love that. And what you wanna do is bring your platter directly over, because you know steamer baskets, they start to open up. You wanna get them right onto the platter that All way. All right. It's gonna tip a little bit, so you wanna tip right where you wanna go. 
That is a packed steamer packed basket. Packed steamer basket. Lots of good things on here. Awesome. So we'll set that steamer basket aside. It's important to go into a nice big platter. Look at all that steam. If you put them in a big bowl and they're kind of smushed in, they're going to keep cooking. Sure. So we don't want that. We're going to use a little bit of this cooking liquid in here. I'm going to pour it off. We didn't lose a lot of flavor to this, but it's better than just straight up water, and we need a little bit for our sauce. Okay. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of it back into the pot. I'm going to put this over medium heat. We're going to go in with our tablespoon of shallot. And we minced up nicely. Also got one and a half teaspoons of white wine vinegar, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. All right, so I'm gonna whisk this. So we're gonna reduce this down to about one and a half tablespoons. It'll take about two minutes. Mm -hmm. What we're building the base for here is a really classic French butter sauce called the Beurre Blanc. And this is an amazing sauce because it is an emulsified butter sauce and an emulsion stick really, really nicely to vegetables. So now I'm gonna add six tablespoons of unsalted butter, basically one tablespoon at a time and whisking each one in before we add the next one. And this is a great way to build an emulsion. So I'm gonna keep adding it a tablespoon at a time until it's fully incorporated. It's gonna look like heavy cream, be really, really nice. It takes four to five minutes. Let's take a closer look at Beurre Blanc and how we can harness the power of an emulsion. Our Beurre Blanc is made up of water and melted butter. But if you just try dipping vegetables into water and melted butter, both would dribble right off of the vegetables. Now the secret to Beurre Blanc is emulsification. Whisking butter into water creates a fat in water emulsion. The melted butter is broken up into tiny droplets. Each droplet is suspended in the water, held in place by a naturally occurring coating of dairy proteins. Now, when the water tries to run off the vegetable, its flow is impeded by all of those fat droplets. The two types of liquid get in each other's way and make the mixture much thicker than either element is on its own. The result is a creamy and smooth beurre blanc that clings beautifully to our spring vegetables. Okay, last piece. Look how gorgeous that already looks, huh? Beautiful, beautiful, creamy texture. That is gorgeous. It's perfect. So now we get to dip the vegetables in one at a time and eat them. Very, very delicately. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump them, actually. We're gonna add them right back in so we can toss to coat. And that's why it was so important to let that steam escape as those vegetables sat on the platter. If it had too much liquid on the bottom of the platter, it could actually break the beurre blanc again. That's right. So I'm gonna use some paper towels and just right. wipe our platter clean. There we go. And just gently toss to combine. Mm. Look at that. You can see, like, as soon as I stirred it, it's already clinging to those yes. top ones, right? All right, those are beautifully coated. I'm gonna go back onto our platter. Oh. That is so lovely. We're gonna finish it off with a tablespoon of minced chives. It's amazing when you have really great fresh vegetables, you shouldn't do a lot to them. All right, I'm gonna go for one of the turnips first because if you don't steam it enough, they will taste raw. It's true. That butter sauce is so good. Mm. <laughs> Especially when you have the asparagus, it clings in every little nook and cranny. Radishes, peppery, still crunchy though. Yeah, they're just, they're kind of warm through. Mm -hmm. well, those first vegetables in spring, this is the perfect thing to do with them. I agree. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. So for our buttery spring vegetables, steam turnips and asparagus together, then add snap peas and finally radishes. Spread the vegetables out to let steam escape, then create a beautiful beurre blanc with vinegar, sugar, and quite a bit of whisk in butter. Toss with the vegetables, sprinkle with chives, and serve. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, beautiful, light, and elegant, buttery spring vegetables. This is perfection. Ugh. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.